Hi everyone, welcome. Today we have with us three PolyU undergraduate authors, Sissy, Paco, and Cheryl. We're going to have a peek behind the curtains at their inscribed publications and their journeys. Um, so hi, my name is Cheryl and I'm studying accountancy. I wrote a piece on Inscribe called uh, The Last Triton. It is about um, two people finding out who they are and finding out their place in the world. Um, you can think of it like a Romeo and Juliet, um, but an underwater version of it. Um, there's some kind of forbidden love elements in it. Um, I would like to think that it is kind of epic because it also talks about like um, the century-long rivalry between two underwater empires. And there's also action scenes, love story scenes. Um, I hope readers will enjoy it. I found out that in some myths, um, sirens and tritons are, are enemies, like they're totally different species. Like one of them, like tritons are very upright and clean, while sirens are like, like absolutely horrible beings. So I, I'm thinking it would be quite fun to have like a Romeo and Juliet um, forbidden love story between the two characters. So that's how it came to me. So I'm Paco and I'm studying radiography and I'm a year two student. So I've wrote that Laughing is a deadly matter, and it's about comedy, but it's more than that. It's about how comedy relates to the freedom of expression, and how important is that connection. So comedy is kind of thing that really offends people, but like, but like now people have lost sight of what comedy really is, and they, it actually wants to make people think about their choices, whatever. But like now they respond to comedy with violence, and that's not what we want to see. So that's why I chose to write this article. Hello everyone, my name is Sissi. I'm a year two student majoring in product engineering with marketing. In Inscribe, I wrote a short story talking about a boy addressing his biggest fears on stage with the inspiration of his greatest hero. The idea of writing short stories sprang to my mind because I uh, study a uh, ELC course subject last semester, which is called Persuasive Communication. And in that course from Mr. Mossman, I learned numerous persuasive strategies and that really uh, inspires me and I find those strategies very interesting and useful. So that's why I wanted to write a short stories and sharing these uh, strategies to more poly students. Yeah, um, I would like to think that this story has two deeper meanings. The first is to embrace who you are, and the second is to embrace the reality. So for the first one, um, as you can see in the story, the main character, um, uh, there is a part where he says he feels like he should be a different person. And I think this is sort of something that resonates with a lot of people right now. Like people feel like they are not living out their true self, they're somehow hiding themselves from other people. And I would think that that is a very tiring and you know exhausting thing to always hide who you really are. So I would like to encourage, maybe encourage people to um, not be afraid to live out their true self. And the second one is embrace the reality. Um, in the story, there are a lots, of, lots of moments where um, the main character encounters uh, obstacles, maybe um, some rea realizations. Um, those are things that are really unexpected to him. And I would like to encourage people when they e experience these, sort of, uh, these sorts of unexpected situations, they could learn to uh, embrace them and keep moving forward. Canary is this type of bird that helps coal miners to detect whether there is a carbon monoxide leakage. So they will die first, allowing that coal miners to retreat and get back to safety. So comedy, in a way, it's similar to this kind of bird because comedy is uh, often being a comedians are often being attacked first when there's a threat to the freedom of expression. Um, what my verses says would be um, talking about back to my high school. It was my first time doing dramatic duel with my partner, and in that competition, we practice a lot, but there were no pressure and then we just go to our utmost and try our very best to perform well with a lot of guidance from teachers. And we really did not expect to win any awards since we just want to enjoy and um, try our very best. And it turns out that we won the championship uh, among the groups. So that was 
um, quite surprising to, to us. And then uh, it was one of the most, like the earliest, small first success that boasts my confidence and give me a big of hope and encourage me to continue pursuing my public speaking dream. My style of writing isn't really ba you know, in, based off of any authors, but I would like to say that I quite like where some authors like to um, make their story seem like a movie, movie-like cinematic experience, and I quite like that idea. So, um, so I kind of merge that with um, there's a passage in my uh, story, which is the part where um, the um, Triton has gone underwater and he went through this kind of transformation. I think in my opinion, I'm quite proud of that scene because it really felt like a movie scene, you know, um, with him in the middle, you know, in pain, um, transforming while the sirens are surrounding him. So yeah, um, I would like to, you know, um, make readers feel like they're re like watching a movie. Yes. Uh, for me, I like to like read quotes and maybe like some of them I pick quotes randomly from like some authors and then the one line that I included in my article would be George Orwell's uh, good jokes. Every joke is the tiny revolution. So um, in his passage about, uh, it's called like funny but not vulgar. He criticized that like 1970s century that in English the comedy is not very offensive but he states that in his article that comedy is meant to be offensive like because it reflects the truth and like it lit and like the uh, powerful people often don't like that and that's what makes us funny so in that sense i would like to refer that it's i would like to reinforce that kind of idea in my article as well so yeah um, most of my writing process are quite similar it all start from um, a basket of messy ideas uh, um, and inscribe the short stories i wrote would be i really want to grab all the um, interesting, useful strategies that taught by the teacher in the course. And I also want to include my personal experience in public speaking and resonate the stories um, using the reflection of Chris. Um, and in that process, what I struggle a lot would be there are too many, uh, too much information on that basket and it's kind of hard to filter and select the best of the best information and effectively deliver to the readers. So when I was writing the short stories, as I mentioned before, it was very, very messy, but through lots of help from the editor, he trimmed down my long, chunky paragraph to short, punchy paragraphs, and that makes the whole overall reading experience more engaging and make it more bite-sized for readers to read. As I said before, the reason why um, most of my stories are unfinished because I don't really know the full process of writing a story. And getting published on Inscribe um, actually helps me to learn um, the full process of writing a story from beginning to end. Like during the editing process, there's like a lot of times where um, I notice that there are very, you know, small details we need to focus on, which is something that I before I didn't know about. And you know, details as in um, you know plot details, um, language sort of details, and this has helped me um, with my own writing as well. So for me, at first I would just write to myself, like my writing is not only for myself, but now that I kind of create something that uh, people want to read and the student editors actually help me in like providing a perspective from the reader's perspective and showing us that, oh, how can we improve by uh, like considering more from what they want to hear, what maybe from their perspective as well. So that uh, ELC has helped a lot. I would say I learned the importance of a reader's perspective because um, when I'm writing on my own, I usually have this whole story planned out in my mind. But then after having a discussion with the editors about my story, I realized that the readers are not in my head. They don't know what I'm thinking about, even though in my head it seems like really logical, the whole story. But 
for the reader's perspective, they might not understand what is going on. For example, like maybe there are some um, plot incoherence in between. So um, I learned that the reader's perspective really helps the story go smoothly. For me, it would be the uh, interactions with editors because my original idea is about like comedy, and then I approach them and they say, "Why not make it bigger, like something." bigger of itself, so that's where the freedom of expression part came in, and then I think, oh, it's big. it'll be a like, good idea, very good idea, so, um, and then I restructured it and then talked to them a few more times, and this kind of interactions, they actually helped me to improve my article and uh, give me more inspirations along the way, and I, that is a very um, good experience that I've had with Instagram. As one of the social media managers, I find the whole inscribed uh, journey very fruitful and transformative. Um, firstly, I really like um, helping the organization uh, of social media since um, in, during the social media management we need to keep writing um, stories or like making a post and that really pushes me to be organized since I was kind of tends to be more messy a lot of time. Uh, besides, I also like working with people a lot. So in uh, being in the role of social media manager, I get to communicate with many of my teammates and they are all very kind and, and lovely people. And then uh, in that communication process, I learn to effectively addressing their concerns but also deliver what they want to say on social media. Um, last but definitely not least, um, due to my marketing uh, background, I do think this inscribed journey provides me a valuable opportunity to manage social media, which is beneficial to my career development. Yeah, I think, um of course, if you have passion, I would definitely encourage you, you know, writing a story of your own. Because for me, um, writing is sort of a medium of me escaping from reality. You know, you can immerse yourself in this imaginative road that you built. And for me, it is a very, very, you know, um, a very good way of just releasing pressure. But um, for those who might not, you know, dabble much in writing, I would, I would say you can try. Um, because it, for me, it is really a very um, pressure-releasing experience writing. Uh, I believe that everybody has a life that have many stories to share. So if anybody is willing to tell the stories, that would be very impactful to the people around. So I do think as long as you are willing to give it a try, please don't hesitate and be afraid. And try to write stories to share your thoughts. Um, try not to think about how would it turns out since writing is a surprising journey and then they'll have many interesting thoughts and ideas popped up in your mind along the way. So do enjoy that process and give it a try. You will always get something out of it. For me, I think uh, writing is a part of reading and thinking all combined together because in order to write you have you first have to read a lot and know what you have to write and then that's where the thinking part comes in so it really is a good process of combining all your thoughts together to construct a coherent passage and other than that it's also a medium of expression for me like I like to express my feelings in writings so that I can record them and maybe save for a later date to see what I've written uh, maybe this year in time or whatever but uh, if you have time or if you really like to try out maybe reaching out to readers or see how others evaluate or comment on their passage just you know feel free to uh, join Inscribe and join our team and we'll, they'll be very grateful and very helpful as well.